All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I'm going to give all praise to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, or Chachmadash, for the spirit to do this lesson. Double honors to the elders and apostles at Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. Shalom to the men of the Lord, preaching and teaching on the highways and byways in sincerity and in truth. She brother Yerach, went back at you with another quick lesson. It's an article uh, I came across uh, reading this morning. And uh, it uh, when I when I saw it, immediately it put me uh, in the spirit that we're under attack. A lot of times when you are in this world, you know, you may have your good days, your bad days. And sometimes it could get away from you what, what's happening in the world. And that is Esau Edom is planning... Uh, global destruction and global catastrophe and he wants to enslave you Israelites who are the so-called Negroes Latinos and Native Americans and it sounds far-fetched it sounds crazy and, and, and sometimes you get caught up with things in the world and you forget that that is the case but we as men of the Lord have to stay rooted you know in the scriptures in the spirit and prophecy and watching and remind everybody that this this is the world that we live in and this is the cost in order for us to get into the kingdom of heaven you know so when i saw this you know this was another yet another reminder of what we have on our hands you see dhs terror alert issued for the first time in a year targets those upset over the lockdowns. now if you think about that that's a very minuscule thing to set somebody on a terror list for all right the fact that you're getting upset at something it, it is now enough for him to target you all right and he has all types of uh ways on the books and in in his laws to uh to do away with you like i said some of you jakes are just gonna start disappearing man you know cia black sites these these are real things all right you have what you call fisa courts well that that's his way of uh uh, of giving himself approval through a judge to lock you up or name you as an enemy combatant and through the patriot act once they name you an enemy uh, an enemy combatant uh you're you're basically you lose all rights as citizenships they don't have to read you no miranda rights they don't have to give you a lawyer they don't even have to tell anyone where you are you're you're basically uh, uh a slave again you know and they have what you call what he'll call enhanced interrogation which is basically torture all right so you can see how easy it is for him to do these things <laughs> just like that over something so small and so minicule because ultimately man this guy is uh he's insecure all right he, he's petty he's shallow he's he's base and weak all right despite the strength that he has in this world He's all of those things. He's he's sensitive, all right, and 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 because he knows what he knows what's going on, and the most I gave him this power to do it. You might ask why why how how can he be the ruler of everything? Well, because the most I gave him the power to do it. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna get that real quick. I had Revelation 12 pulled up, but uh, let me do this. Lock you. Um, I'm gonna get Daniel fourth chapter. Let me go down to verse 17. Uh, it says Daniel 4 and 17 is this is the matter by the decree of the watchers and the demand by the word of the holy ones to the intent that the living may know that the most high ruleth in the kingdom of men. So the most high rules in this realm and in the heavens and anything else you can imagine all right and give it, it to whomsoever he will and set it up over it the basis of men all right and esau is the basis of men so the most high is ultimately in control the most high is is who set this guy up and the most high can set up whoever he wants to rule he set up uh darius and and, and alexander all right antiochus and and all of these Caesars so you know it's up to the most high at the end of the day all right but let's read it says uh, Revelation 12 and 10 it says and I heard a loud voice saying in heaven now is come salvation and strength and the kingdom of our power 
and the power of Hamashiach, for the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accused them before our power day and night. Alright? <laughs> this is one of these one of these accusations, that one of these accusations that word uh accuser goes into categorio, which means to which means to basically label you, to put you in a box to categorize. That's where the word category comes from. Alright? So he's going to label you, all right, as terrorists. This is this is what's coming. It says, uh, despite Joe Biden running on a platform of unity and bring to bring back American, to bring Americans back together, before he was even sworn in, he reneged on his the promise by alienating tens of millions of Trump supporters, essentially declaring them the enemy. So this is we we know Esau's nature. I go over this time and time again that he he's the devil. You can't trust anything he says. You know he reneges on things all the time, he uses deception, he employs subtility and all types of uh, uh, other tools to, to get what he wants, alright, it says don't dare call them protesters, Biden said after the largely peaceful march on DC which ended with a few hundred goons out of tens of thousands of peaceful protesters raiding the capital, uh, they were a riotous mob, insurrectionists, domestic terrorists. It's that basic. It's that simple. Uh, some folks certainly look, certainly thought they were part of some coup. The reality of the situation was nothing at all as serious as the media and establishment is claiming. All right. So you can see how easy that was for to, for Esau amongst those thousands of people to set up a few, uh, a few hundred of them. To just go out there and be niggas, all right. And this is why the men tell you stay out, stay away from these protests, stay away from these large mass gatherings, all right. Because it ain't, it ain't nothing for Esau to have you on camera in proximity. All he needs is proximity to to label you, all right. Which is what this word accuser goes into. Into that. Now there's gonna be there's gonna be jakes that that get paid off. You know, that's that's camp probably paid off right now. You got Doctor. Uh, not Dr. J, what is it, <laughs> Jam, Jam Master J, whatever this nigga name is, the NFAC. You know, you got guys like that that are out there that are going to play a part in, in demonizing us. But at the end of the day, we're going to get the elected going to get the victory. So I wanted to bring this article out to show you, brother, this thing ain't slowing down. There's going to be more of this coming. Let's f finish. Let me get down to Revelation 12 and 12. This is Revelation 12 and 11. It says, and they overcame him. By the blood of the Lamb, all right, and that's the ones who believe on Yahweh Shai Mashiach, who are in this truth, who are doing the work, all right, who who are taking their talents and 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 using it, not sitting on them, who are found spotless, all right. You know, as uh, the elder said, if you're if you're if the block <laughs> that the Most High wants to use to build this temple. As a chip in it, then guess what? You're gonna get rejected. All right. So this is this is what it means by them that overcame. It's gonna be those the men that were diligent, the men who had the spirit on them to endure. All right. And it says, and by the word of their testimony, and they love not their lives unto the death. All right. So we hate this place, man. Are there things that make you feel good? You know, in this society, yeah. Are there things you particular things you may want to aspire to do? You might be looking trying to get a little promotion here at the job. You know, I ain't talking about that, you know, All, but ultimately you hate this place. You want to see this place go down. You're not trying to, you're not trying to set up retirement here 10, 20 years and, 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 and set up place, have kids and, and, and spread your seed all over the damn place. You're in a time of, of, of mourning and hastening the day of the Lord coming back. All right. This place should vex you, even if you're in a particular good spot. You know, there's Jake's out there that got money that know that the Israelites that, you know, are in the truth. But uh but ultimately, man, you should still hate this place for what's happening to the earth, to the planet, to your brethren. For just for order not being established, you should get vexed, you know. Verse twelve it says, Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil is come down unto you having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. 
And this is what this goes back to, man. He knows what time it is. These chariots are starting to pop up. <laughs> you know, Esau's probably seeing them every day because, you know, Esau's got equipment that can scan the heavens better than what you can see on the telescope. And, and, and what you might, what brothers may, brothers see chariots fairly regularly, but we know that the Most High is, is, is showing Esau uh, uh, a whole bunch of chariots, cause, and that's why he's scared, because he's created the Space Force, he's created um, basically a, a military defense uh, against it, all right? He, he's had to publish articles from the, from the Pentagon, part of the Defense Department, to disclose this stuff. He's developing weapons, laser weapons, and he's and he's really gonna try to throw down <laughs> with with Yahweh Shai, Michael, and the angels, man. Cause he he he's he's off the chain, you know. But this is what's coming: terror. T being get get ready to be labeled and get ready for your your family members to give you up, your people you thought were your friends. All right. Uh, this is uh, Luke uh, chapter 21, verse 10. It says, then, then said he unto them, Nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And we already know we're in those times. Where the stage for World War III is being set. You know, and it's been being set since World War II ended, really. You know, since, since all this aggression with the Cold War of Russia and, 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 uh, and Iran since 1979 and all that. The, the you know the Gulf Wars in, in the 70s and 80s and 90s, uh, and, and to the modern day what they call you know war on terror, that this this thing has been being set for for uh, a long time, man. I'll put it to you that way. It says, and great earthquakes shall be in diverse places, and famines and pestilences, and you're gonna have famines, and you're gonna see real pestilences, not not the one we're currently dealing with, which is basically just a ruse to get to get Esau, Esau to get you comfortable with you having your rights taken away from you. That's what this is, basically. Uh, it says, and pestilences and fearful sights and great signs shall there be from heaven. So we're going to see signs. You saw the alignment of, of what they call Jupiter and Saturn, you know, come in. We, we saw the, the, the solar eclipse go off the southwest, in the southwest where Naphtali is in South America. We're going to start seeing more chariots. We're going to start seeing very strange signs, things you can't even explain, things that weren't, weren't predicted. It says, but before all these things, they shall lay their hands on you and persecute you, delivering you up to the synagogues and into prisons, being brought before kings and rulers for my name's sake. And that's going to happen. We're going to get fame and notoriety. And we're going to be, be infamous, which is, which is basically being well known. Or something in, in a negative connotation all right but we we have the spirit of the Bashim how shy Lord will I can be of that number to be part of the elect to where we're gonna be preserved in that time we're gonna know what to say what what to, what to do all right you know we're gonna have angels intervening for us some of us are gonna get spiritual powers all right and it's all written, man. It's already all of this thing that's as scary as it sounds. It's already written that we're gonna get the victory. <laughs> all right, that's the beauty of it. So this is why it's called the gospel, even though it sounds it, it is dark in many places, you know, because the day of the Lord is darkness. But ultimately, it's still the gospel. Why? Because at the end of it, the kingdom of heaven gets established, order gets set back in the earth, and you don't have to uh, you don't have to worry about. Your, your kids uh, going to public school and, and, and having be read bedtime stories by, by, by transgender people. All right. Cause th this, this is, this is where it's going. You know, verse 13, it says, and it shall turn to you for a testimony, settle it therefore in your hearts, not to meditate what ye shall answer for. I will give you a mouth and wisdom which all your adversaries shall not be able to gainsay nor resist. And ye shall be betrayed by both parents and brethren and kinsfolk and friends. All right. So that's where this is going. The text message that you think are safe and, and, and you know, and all of this, 
I ain't worried about it, man. I already know there's people that I've talked to or, or even still talk to. You know, Esau's going to put the squeeze on them and they're going to they gonna squeal, man. You know, it is what it is. I, I'm putting all of my stock. You know, you got you invest in the stock market. <laughs> you know, I'm putting all of my stock in, in, into uh, to the kingdom of heaven, man, to this truth. Because that, that stock has been shorted, <laughs> to use an analogy, of what's happening recently, like with the GameStop thing. They shorted that stock and depressed the stock of it so much lower than its real value that you were able to buy a ton of that stock for cheap. And now when the real value, um, now when now when people start buying the stock in mass, that stock of that value goes up. The value of that stock goes up, all right? And that's how you have to look at the stock in the kingdom of heaven, man. The, the stock of it has been de artificially depressed, all right? So now is the time to get in, all right? Lay your treasures up there, man, in, into the heaven, into the kingdom of heaven. Because we, we're not known today as high-value men, right? But that, but that is who we will be, all right? This society doesn't regard us as that. Because we're putting our stock into something different, not into not into money and cars and, and, and women and fancy clothes and colognes and all of these things. We're putting our stock in this truth, all right? And so when the real value of that stock is realized, meaning when the angels show up, Yahweh Shai, that stock is going to go through the roof and you're not going to be able to keep women off of you, man, because you're going to be worth so much. So we're the, we're the true high value, man. I'm digressing, but you know. <laughs> through the spirit it all it all links up so lucky i went to a different uh tab it says for i will give you luke 21 and 15 for i will give you a mouth of wisdom which all your adversaries shall not be able to gainsay nor resist so we're gonna have we're gonna know what to say we're gonna know what to do we're gonna know exactly how to move angels are gonna be are gonna be uh, looking out for us some of us, like I said, we're going to get put in tight situations where our faith is going to be tested, but we're going to get what we need to make it. And some of us are going to be put to death. But we're the the, the men that are going to be put to death. Those are the going to those are the men that are going to have the spirit on them to endure that. You know, I believe that of the elect, and they're going to get raised right back up and go to work when when the time comes. On you heathen, it says, and ye shall be hated. Verse 17, and ye shall be hated for all of my men, of all men for my name's sake, but there shall not an hair of your head perish. Alright? And so what that's talking about is keeping the faith, and you're gonna be good, man. You know? You're gonna be good. It says, verse 19, in your patience possess ye your souls. Alright, so when you get put in these crosshairs that like they have it illustrated here just for speaking the truth because like i said if he can label you what the hell is this madness man if he can label you a terrorist just being upset what do you think is coming for the for the men that he truly hates which are the israelites all right <laughs> so you see where this is going all right and matthew 10 basically says the same thing this is Matthew 10 and 16 behold I send you before sheep send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves be ye therefore wise as serpents and harmless as doves so don't be like Grandmaster Jail and only listen to clowns like that or any guy that tells you to pick up a sword and go out there and fight is it okay to own one to protect yourself if somebody you know tries to attack you yes but we're, we're not to be uh, in that spirit of, of, of carnality and and and, uh, and preaching people to go out there and and pick up arms for these things, man. It's now the time to be wise and harmless. We're supposed. This is the time where we're supposed to give. We're supposed to yield all glory and vengeance to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Because it's his show. Verse seventeen. But be aware. But beware of men, for they will deliver you up to sin, to the councils, and they will scourge you in their synagogues. And ye shall be brought before governors and kings for my name's sake. For my sake, Salakia. For a testimony against them and the Gentiles. But when they deliver you up, take no thought how 
or what ye shall speak for it shall be given to you for it shall be given you in that same hour what ye shall speak for it is not ye that speak but the spirit of your father which speaketh in you all right so that's basically the same thing in luke 21 but it's good to read both accounts of it because it gives you a little bit of different perspective of what's what's going to occur and we know that it's coming more articles like this are going to come out more and more every day so i'm gonna cut it short there brothers hopefully y'all were edified shalom keep the faith keep pushing this truth and with that i'm gonna say call halal yahweh by hashem yahweh shai by hashem rachach badash shalom wa ba ball